Hello, everyone. My name is George. I'm a mentor on the GATS program uh, for 2020, the on, uh, ongoing GATS program. I'll be doing a short video on how to use Git and set up our projects and then provide the links for submission. I will not be showing you step-by-step uh, -step how to install Git, whether on Linux or Windows. You need to check out documentations for that. But Linux, uh, for Windows users, for Linux users, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, for Windows, you you'll be presented with two options. One, to install the Git 2 uh, system-wide, and then, of course, to install in, um, to make it, um, to add the tool path to your system path. Now, you need to accept the first option, which is uh, be the, the option to install to the system path. That way, it makes it possible for you to um, run Git from your PowerShell or any other terminal, apart from the default Git bash terminal that will be installed alongside your installation. Okay? But for the other option that says um, for every user on your system, you can decide to say no. Okay, that way, um, any other person who logs into your account, uh, into your system using their own account, will not have access to that tool. But if you want others to have access to that tool, then you need to um, allow that option too. So, but the first thing, once you've set up your GitHub repository, um, GitHub repository, um, GitHub repository, uh, the GitHub account is different from Git. A GitHub uses the Git tool to track files and do version control on your documents. Now, you install Git on Windows, and then you have to create a GitHub account because that's where your files will be pushed to and located and kept. Okay? So, if you have not been using this, this will be a good time to learn to use it. So, first of all, let's create a repository. Okay, we are not using any particular template. Let me drop this here. Let me get rid of this. Okay, so this name exists, so it's accepted. Our names of GitHub uh, repositories are global. Uh, that means if anyone else has that same name, you will not be able to use that name. So, and it's good to name your projects to reflect what they are, be your repositories, uh, to have names that reflect what they're actually meant for. So in this case, I've used my Slack uh, ID guards 2020 projects, you know, so it's easy. It's going to be public, and the only file I'll be adding here will be this add me file, okay? This add me file will, um, will give us a short, short description of my repository and on what it's about. So the click, I will click on the create repository button, uh, give it a few minutes, and it's done. Okay, so let's edit this file. You know, to actually edit it, uh, I'm going to click on that pencil icon. Uh, these files, uh, like the extension says, uh, shows .md, uh, use the markdown syntax to uh, write into these files. The markdown uh, scripting language is such that um, it makes it easy for you to create documents with few clicks, on, uh, sorry, few types, typing. Uh, you don't need to actually take your time to format it. It does it automatically for you. So in this case, I'm going to change this to uh, Udoyens, um, Guards, Projects, Project, okay, Sub, Submi, Submissions. Okay, so that's basically what I'll do. And if you look at the bottom here, you already have a placeholder text. That's the default for GitHub. You can leave that usually for uh, because actually what I did was to uh, update the readme.md file, so I don't need to change that one, but you could write anything there if you wanted to. You click on commit. When you add a new file, you need to uh, add it in Git and then commit it. When you change a new file, you actually need to commit those changes. Okay, so um, this is how it is. Okay, so we are done with that. So let's go back to the roots of the project because we'll be cloning it from there okay so let's come here now the next thing we need to do is to create a folder okay so let's open a folder use any text editor of your liking I'm going to create one let me call this guards uh, projects 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 no project files okay 
and I hit enter and of course I hit that so call it a name that makes it easy for you to locate it's a, it's a good practice to do that uh, so we're going to create just two folders one for screenshots the other for translations now it's a good practice uh, uh, translations uh, the name it, when you hear it you you know that every translation uh, that has been done should be found in that folder when you call the other folder screenshots every screenshot that you should do should be found in that folder and then for the screenshots it'll be also good to name the screenshots after the name use the name of the lab as a name for the screenshots so that once someone sees it and knows okay this this image file is for this lab they they can easily track it down and see if you actually completed your your task so we will be cloning this so first of all we need to call up our terminal we don't need this uh, we don't need this we'll call our terminal and uh, of course we will pull in the uh, the repository we created online so you need to come here click on this click on this to copy come down come here and then let's do the cloning uh, git clone please click clone and then the URL and of course, a new folder will be, will be will appear here. So, so that's the folder. In that folder, you will have the Git uh, folder that tracks your files. And note, this Git is in this location, not here. Okay, so we need to move into this location to do our job, both from the terminal and from adding files and folders. So, okay, let's add the first folder. Let's call it uh, translations. Okay, second folder, call it um, screenshots. All right, so those are the two things. Now we're going to add the files that already did this. So let me just copy it from the location. Let me copy the translation first. Okay. All right, translation, I'll put it here. Now let me copy uh, the image. And uh, this is the image. I'll copy this one. Come down here and paste that in here. Okay, so if I open this up, they are there. And of course, this is called translation code. Let me rename that. Uh, let me see. Create scene DM. DM on Google Cloud. Okay. All right, so that should change. Open and close, it's changed. So I've changed these two files. So I need to do what? I need to add them and then commit them, then push them to GitHub. All right, so let me change into that folder. Let me clear my screen. And then I do git uh, add, uh, sorry, um, do we do A? All right, so I've added all the new files I just created and the folders I did. And the next thing I do is to commit and then place a message there, initial, initial commit, okay, and then hit enter. So those files have been committed. Now the second thing we will need to do is to pass in uh to pass in um what do you call it to to push uh our current commit to github so we're going to do that just give me a moment uh let's let's quickly do that so git sorry git push uh upstream origin and we're pushing the master branch okay so it's going to ask me for my Okay, it didn't ask me for my username and password because I entered it previously. Now, in your case, when you're doing it for the first time, it will ask you for your username, which is your GitHub account username. Then, after that, it will ask you for your password. And, of course, your password you used in creating your GitHub account, you will enter that in. When you do that, it will now push. So, as you can see, it has pushed... Uh, this branch, which is the master branch, up to uh, the upstream uh, um, 
the upstream master branch okay the upstream is um, upstream master branch is uh, connected to the downstream uh, branch okay so let's go online and check out let's refresh our page okay so there you are we now have screenshots we now have translation if you click into them you will see the files you just added there it is png okay so click this to go back let's see our translation there you go okay all right so i would make this repository private that means you will not be able to see it you want to get to use this you need to actually come watch the video and i don't want you taking my translation and working with it so i'm going to make this private so don't bother looking for this git repository because initially it was public and you can see that but i'll make that private so that you can touch it thank you for watching please leave your likes and please leave your follows uh, by this stage hopefully one or two persons have completed their tasks and I hope you have completed yours too. Thank you for watching.